Chris, you guys are uh, closing in on your season opener um, at the Springfield Invitational. You've had a couple of scrimmages. What do you see? What have you seen in the scrimmages that you've liked? What have you seen that you feel that you need to work on? Well, certainly our attack is a little bit of ahead of where we normally are at this point of the season. You know, a week into preseason, you know, usually that's not really cohesive and the chemistry is not good. But this year it's a little bit ahead of that because we're we're pretty athletic in the midfield and up front. So I'm really liking how our attack looks right now. Uh, in the back, we have a lot of new faces. We lost a couple starters from last year, uh, including in the goal. So there's some question marks there that we still have to, you know, find the right players, the right chemistry, and uh, put the right pieces in the puzzle. Talk about your your senior leadership for this year. Oh, it's great. Uh, right now we have uh, a couple returning players that played a ton last year in uh, Lauren Hickey and Stephanie Norrell and Amber Patrizzo and our fourth senior Megan Pavia. They've all been here for four years so they know what the expectations are like every year both on and off the field academically, socially and athletically so they're really leading vocally during training sessions and practices but uh, they're leading by example with their actions. So uh, great, great uh, leaders and great kids to boot. You've always put an emphasis on conditioning. Uh, how, is the, how is the physical condition in general of this year's team? Yeah, overall it's really good. It's really high and we really felt that it, it needed to be that way with not only our schedule, our league schedule, uh, and trying to repeat as conference champions again, but our non-league schedule is very challenging. So we really wanted to make sure the kids came in really fit and they, they look really good so far in general. What is the toughest thing about repeating? Probably what makes it so tough to repeat, I should say? Uh, probably the toughest thing is that you know, our league, uh, you know, especially Keene and Western, are so competitive and so good year after year that you know, it's hard to repeat because those teams reload. And now we have uh, teams like UMass Boston that are getting better every year. We have some new coaches coming into the league that, you know, they're going to make a, a positive difference. So it's, it's hard to do it again based on travel, you know, how many games you have away from home. That's been our Achilles heel. We've been pretty solid at home, but we haven't done well on the road, not only non-league, but in the league. And that's been our, our, our difficult point. We're trying to change that this year. So I think for us, that's why it's been really difficult to repeat. You have Keenan Western at home this year. It's not a guarantee you're going to beat them, but it definitely helps. Yeah, it definitely helps because we haven't had a strong record away from home at those two fields. So I'm sure they're going to bring their A game against us. But, uh, you know, that, that will be a helpful, uh, you know, for the schedule at home. But away, uh, you know, we make trips to Southern Maine and Plymouth State, uh, UMass Boston, UMass Dartmouth. And, and you know, those are, those are longer trips for us. And, and tougher places to play, you know. I mean, if we look at our overall record there, you know, it's it's barely above 500 there overall over the years. So we've had success there, but it's not a given. The incredible thing about last year, Chris, is that you guys overcame so many injuries, and you still won the conference, which means you need a lot of have lot, you need to have a lot of depth. Do you see depth as a as a positive this year? Yeah, I think the kids that uh, ended up playing a lot for us because of those injuries, you know, we're, we're freshmen and sophomores last year. Now they're sophomores and juniors, so that experience is invaluable. That's really going to help them and help our team. We've brought in some good young freshmen and a couple of transfers that are going to help us also. So that chemistry that we're trying to build within the first couple of weeks of the season, along with the returning experience, is, is going to really help our team. Last question. I don't want to pick on or make you point out the goalkeeping situation, but you've lost an all New England in all conference goalie in Kim Church, uh, and goalie is such an important part of soccer. Where does that stand right now? How does that position look now? Well, certainly, it, you know, there's a question mark there just because our, our returning keepers there, Teresa Pagnosi and Mackenzie McLeod, were on the team last year, but didn't get a lot of playing experience. So. You know, it's good, healthy competition between the two, uh, but certainly a question mark in the sense of, of game management. You know, they just haven't experienced uh, at this level what it takes uh, to, you know, be a good, solid keeper game after game. So, you know, I think it will, it will work out in the end, but right now cer certainly it is a question mark until we play a few games. Chris, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.